Okay, what's a linear function? Linear function is a function that has a constant rate of change, or if we wish, its graph is a straight line, or if we wish, f of x equals mx plus b for a constant m and a constant b. These are equivalent conditions. If one of these is true, the others are true. Okay, let's test uh, a function. Let's say we got uh, a table of values for f, x, uh, and f of x. That's called a table of f of x versus x. Okay, so uh, I'm going to actually call this f1 of x, and I'm going to call this function over here f2 of x, so we can see the difference. Okay, so the rate of change, well, rate of change for a function is change in y divided by change in x. So uh, let's call it average rate of change. So we take the change in y divided by the change in x to see if the function is going to be linear. You know that delta y is going to represent the rise of a graph. Delta x is going to represent the run. So if the uh, slope is constant, um, and of course that's you know, constant rate of change. I guess I should put in here constant slope. The rate of change delta y over delta x does represent the slope, the rise over the run. Okay, so delta x between this point and this point, we get a delta x of 3, a delta y of 1.5, and a delta y over delta x of 1.5 divided by 3, which is 1 half. Okay, now uh, between 6.5 and 7.5, the change is only 1. Uh, change in x is only 2, and the change in y is 1. So if you divide the change in y by the change in x, you get 1 half. Between x equals 7 and 11, you have a change of 2 in y and a change of 4 in x. So that the change in x is 4, change in y is 2, the slope is again 1 half. So constant slope implies that this function is linear. And constant slope implies constant rate of change because that's what the slope represents. Straight line graph and f of x equals mx plus b. m in this case is the slope, which is one half. Now let's take this function, f2 of x, and see if that's the case. First of all, uh, the changes in the values of the function are always the same. It always goes up by five. So that might indicate that the rate of change is constant. However, over here, uh, the changes in y were all different, but the function still uh, resulted in constant slopes because the changes in x weren't all the same. So the changes in x turn out to have been proportional to the changes in y or vice versa, and you ended up with constant slopes. So just because one or the other uh, column of your table changes by a constant amount doesn't mean that the other column is going to change by a constant amount. If they both change every time by a constant amount, then you would have a linear function. So let's do this again, delta x, delta y, and the average rate delta y over delta x, or the slope, average slope. Okay, so what do we get? We get a delta x here, 4 to 12, the delta x is 8, the delta y from 15 to 20 is 5, so the delta y over delta x is 5 eighths. And we could express that as a decimal, it's 0.625, uh, a decimal equivalent you should be aware of and you should know. Uh, here, delta x is 5, delta y is 8, uh, delta, y, delta y is 5, so that the delta y over the delta x is 5 over 5, which is 1. Dividing delta y by delta x, we get 1. 
between 25 and 30. Uh, the change in Y is again 5. The change in X is 9. From 17 to 26, the change is 9. And the slope is therefore 5 ninths. So we see that the slopes are not, and the average rates of change uh, are not constant. So average rate of change, which is average slope, is not constant. So the function is not linear.